Let me preface this video by saying I am not ready for college at all. A lot of people usually have a orientation in which they see the campus, they explore, they ask questions. Yeah, so I did mine online and I still have a lot that I need to do basically. In my last video, I was like, oh, I have so much free time on my hands. I don't know what to do. I know what to do now. I know that there's a bank account that I have to set up. I know that there's a picture that I have to take for one of my cards. I know that there's immunization records that I have to put in. I know that there's vaccination information that I need to put in so that people know I'm vaccinated. And to be quite frank, that's gonna take a hot second. That's gonna take a while. So I decided, like any YouTuber would do, anything that takes a while is worth making a video about. Point being, this stuff is going to have to get done at one point or another, and videos forced me to be productive. So here I am, not being productive, and Drinking an iced coffee. Latte Fomart. Hi. I put on a little makeup for my end card. I'm gonna have to take a picture later. Do you like it? Comment down below. So I think the easiest and the first thing that we're going to do is hook up my bank account. No, I was definitely not shopping at Victoria's Secret earlier. Let me exit out of that tab really quick. Anyway, so my university has this really nice thing that lets you have your own bank account in college. Um, so it kind of is a nice way to have some freedom to manage your own money. And I definitely want to do that. So I have my little checkbook right here. That's a surprise tool that can help us later. I always have to Google which one is the account number and which one is like the routing number. I don't think I can like show you my checkbook. Like, is someone gonna Photoshop and like cut this little piece of paper and write a check to themselves? Like, who knows? Who knows? I was gonna say it out loud and then I realized, nope. What? An unexpected system error occurred. There was a problem validating my information. Last name. You guys don't get to know that. Last four digits of social security. You guys also don't get to know that. Birth date. You can look it up on famous birthdays and boost me there. I think I'm gonna have to call the toll free support number. So are you at www.ubt.com? I'm at ubtgo.ubt.com. Yeah, no. Okay. Let me know when you get there. Okay, I'm there. Okay, then I want you to hover over. Don't click on it, but just go over personal. And I want you to go down to checking account. Oh. Okay. Okay, sorry. I was just really confused on, like, how to even get started and, like, what numbers. And no, like... you're fine. Okay, perfect. Well, I appreciate your help. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a great day. You too. Bye. Okay, so it looks like there's a student one. Created for younger customers, ages 14 to 25. That's me. Um, no monthly maintenance or activity fees. And it looks like there's an option for UNL students. And I am a UNL student, so. Start your application. I am a new Union Bank and Trust customer. I live in Nebraska. I don't even think I've said that like online at all. I live in the Midwest. Bully me all you want. Say the state doesn't exist. Go ahead. I won't stop you. Type of ID. I got my driver's license. Hold on, hold on. Now hold on, hold on. Okay, review my application. It should only take a few seconds. This is more than a few seconds. A collection of what? Thank you for calling Union Bank and Trust. This is Omar and I'm Albion. Hi, um, I just completed the first step of my application to get an account and it says hmm looks like something went wrong and it says failed to lazily initiate a collection of roll and I don't know what that means yeah I'm not sure either I'll actually need to get in touch with my supervisor <laughs> since she's in charge of the whole uh, online banking stuff um... to um, pretty much see if we are able to like mimic you 
not actually be you, but like mimic you and see if we're able to connect to the next screen and we were. Okay, it looks like it's working now. I, I just didn't know what that was about. <laughs> yeah, no, that's a very good one. Actually, she was she was a little surprised about that, but oh, no, wow. you're good. And is there anything else I can help you with in the meantime? I think that's it. All right, you have a nice one. You too, thank you. Where's my bank? As if my day couldn't get any worse, I can't find my bank. No, I, I'm not in New Bremen. Actually, fun fact. Our discretionary overdraft services is automatically available to customers who maintain their eligibility. Every day, they look at if you request to do so. Practices. It looks like I put my application in. So I don't think I really need to do anything else. I think we can move on to the next activity. Thank God. Okay, let's go vaccination registry form. This looks pretty easy. Okay, I got my, my student email. I got my student. I got my Pfizer. Day of first shot, day of second shot. Enter the dates of your immunizations. Oh, guys, I don't know if I... Guys, I don't know. Uh, I don't want a blood test. Should I like call my doctor or something? Let's just move on to the other thing, which is the NCARD online application. I need to pick a photo. <laughs> I need to take a picture and um, it can't be goofy. It has a list of unacceptable photos. No hats or sunglasses, no too dark and no too light. I'm gonna pick a plain background, probably like right here. <laughs> Okay guys, we're taking my end card photo. Where do I even, oh, guys, I don't even know what to do. I need better lighting, so I'm gonna like inch it towards here. Ah, this is so awkward. Ew. Okay, that was probably the ugliest picture I've ever taken, but at least in four years, I'll look different, right? So I did that. Another thing that I do need to figure out though is loans. I need student loans. You guys, I'm gonna be honest. I just finished all of that loan stuff. I am so tired. I wanna like actually do something productive. Just like not to do with college at all. Like I've gotten my scoop of college for today because thinking about college is like a big transition in your life. And I mean, I know some of you guys might be going into middle school, might be going to the next grade even, going into high school, whatever grade or age or stage of life you're in right now, there can be times where it gets a little bit overwhelming. And that is totally okay. Just try to find ways to not build on that feeling and find ways to kind of take it back down to a more maintainable level. I have some fried pickles in the onion right now. Did I say onion? I meant oven. Okay, well, thank you all for watching this video. I don't know how interesting this video was. Honestly, I'm gonna have to go back through the footage, but hopefully this is helpful to some people or at least one person watching this. And if you enjoyed this video, Give it a thumbs up, my pickles are ready. And make sure to subscribe and turn on that bell and comment down below your favorite part. Shh, I'm making a video. Don't talk back to me. Wow, wow, you think you're funny, huh? Mm-hmm, fine. Okay, well thanks for watching, I love you guys, bye.